Hello friends, this is Maya Joy Kana, and today I just want to offer you a little <laughs> nugget of um, insight or a little practice that I've been working with recently that's really helped me, and that is the practice of embracing silence in order to better hear and experience the amazing abundance of insight from your soul and heart that is always there, but that sometimes you might not be able to fully experience or access due to the amount of noise that is all around. And I feel that this message is particularly pertinent at this time because we are in the build up to a major lunar eclipse, which brings the opportunity to really release something in our heart or in our inner world that may have been plaguing us for a long time. But often in order to do that, we first need to realize what that thing is. And we need to slow down and begin to hear what our heart is really telling us. Um, so anyway, so I want to keep this short today, but I just want to say that in my own experience as a psychic, I have found that I often feel very, very disconnected, actually, like from my own intuition um, when I am, I think we all know this, like when you're, when you're around like crowds of people and stuff like that, it can really bring you um, away from your inner world, right? But I think that we, what we don't always take into account is like, as much as our like smartphones and our social media and stuff like that is like a really cool tool and it's really fun, if we're constantly keeping our mind busy and constantly, and I fall into this pattern a lot myself where I'll get like almost like kind of like addicted, like it feels a little bit that way to like listening to like YouTube videos or TED Talks or music or constantly, you know, looking at the phone or even reading like, you know, for me, like even books can become that way. Like I've got to constantly be taking in information. And I think it's often those times when I feel that need that actually a major breakthrough in personal understanding or intuition is totally possible. Um, but maybe somehow this, our, our monkey mind, as a lot of people call it, or our conscious mind is like distracting from that process. And, you know, and sometimes we can feel anxiety and stuff during those times. Um, and a lot of times what I've realized is that the anxiety just goes away. Like if I take away the videos and I just give myself even just an hour of silence or something like that. You know, I used to have the practice where it's like any time, like I go on a lot of walks and runs and stuff like that. And I used to have the practice where any time I would leave the house, I would always bring my phone and like my headphones, <laughs> you know, and I, every time I was walking around and stuff, I'd always be listening to something, some, you know, astrological forecast or some music or I was trying to learn something and learning is like really good. Um, but I also found that I didn't feel as psychic or as connected or as able to perceive what was going on in my inner world when I was always doing that. And so just in the past, since really since 2020, you know, just in the past week, I've been just resisting that habit. I've just been uh, not taking my phone with me where I go, just leaving it you know, powered off or leaving it on the charger stuff. It's not that I don't ever listen to anything, but I've been finding that it's a really useful spiritual practice to only engage in the technology when you have a clear intention for what you're trying to get out of it. So like instead for me personally, and I think this will work well for a lot of you too, like instead of mindlessly just like refreshing or, you know, letting things autoplay or just scrolling and scrolling through social media and stuff like that, like hoping that may, you know, maybe I'll find something good here. Um, setting it aside and only engaging with like, oh, I really do have like a question or something that I'm really curious about. So let me Google that, right? And let me be really mindful about just only taking in information until I get, you know, the answer that I'm seeking and then give myself time to reflect on it or whatever. So anyway, 
I told myself that I was going to keep this around like five minutes, but I, I know I didn't put out a video um, at the end of last week because I was really sick and I couldn't actually like talk for more than like 10 seconds without like blowing my nose and stuff. It was really ridiculous. So I couldn't put out a video. So I just wanted to put out something really short and just say, you know, if you're looking for just a little practice to implement, you know, this week, this month, this year, that can really, really help you to get in touch with your soul and feel that energy of your soul and start to hear spirit a little bit more and stuff, just go for silence. Whatever amount of time you can take per day, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour, all day, depending on, you know, like where you're at in your own personal development. Just unplug for everything. Set down the phone. Don't play any TV in the background. Don't play anything. Just be silent. And I think a lot of us fear the silence. I know in some ways that was the case for me. And yet I found wow, do I feel so much better? Do I sleep so much better when I don't have as much information to digest and stuff and when I'm just able to um, give myself time and space? I think sometimes when we just step back and we really realize like, wow, a lot of what I was feeling um, and a lot of that anxiety that I was feeling or a lot of the fear I was feeling or a lot of the confusion I was feeling, hey, it wasn't actually ever coming from me in the first place. Like it might have been related to what I was taking in. <laughs> like the energy that I was taking in from other creators or people on social media or the radio or stuff like that. And sometimes it's good just to rest in your own energy and just experience what's coming from within you. And yeah, I think that can can help a lot of us at this time. So if this resonates with you, that's amazing. And if you already have a lot of silence in your life, then maybe disregard. But anyway, I just wanted to offer this to anybody who it might help today and just let you guys know, Happy New Year. I'm sending my love to you and my support and encouragement for the best year yet. You know, may you all really feel the amazing um, power of your soul and harmony from within your own being emerging this year. And yeah, may it be an incredible journey. Okay, many blessings to all of you and namaste.